they all knew that this was going to be a bit of a different feel because of that Kopapa Māori context. It's one thing to be aware of that, but it's another thing to lean in, dip your toes, and, and get submerged as much as they have in, in a very short space of time. So it's been awesome to see them really take to it, eh? That's the difference, I think. Now, I've never been a talented athlete or anything like that, so I've never been able to perform on a field to a high standard, but what I've always known I could help with is helping with that off-field stuff. So we're just going to be doing a bit of whaka whanaunga tanga, yeah? We don't have a lot of spaces to just be Māori in everyday life, so this is just another one that we get to have. So it might be a little bit scary, it might be a little bit anxious, um, but all I ask, I think, and I'll keep asking this all week, is just to lean in. Please excuse my... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Absolutely, Totoko, uh, Kōrero. Uh, don't apologise uh, for anything. Uh, and um, yeah, I just want to um, just extend uh, a huge mihi on behalf of New Zealand Cricket uh, to all of you for heeding the call uh, to be here, uh, to be vulnerable. Um, it's also the busy who you are as Māori. And that's just what the Rōpū needed, I think, was just a safe opportunity to create an environment that's very different, that's very centred on tikanga, that's very centred on each other, you know, tangata ki te tangata rather than sports and outcomes and results and on-field stuff, you know. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this pretty special occasion and the um, capping ceremony for our first ever hotel in the Māori Waikini team. Uh, my name is Machu and I'll be looking after you guys today. Uh, we've got a few speakers and then we're going to be presenting caps and home to all our players and support staff today. I've obviously been around quite a few sports teams in my time, um, whether that's been at, you know, Tane Nationals for cricket and that sort of stuff. And, and the environment that I've seen there is, is so strong. Um, and I think a lot of that is because of that safety and that security through that vulnerability early and just showing everyone how little or how much of their whakapapa that they know. When whakapapa is the foundation, everything starts to come back into play and you know you have that whanaunga tanga through whakapapa I think that you can start to see now.
flexion is down. Strip down here, down, up, down, flip, flip. Instead of it focusing on us being a cricket tournament with a Māori twist, this is a chance to really raise Māori players or tangata Māori who just happen to be going to a cricket tournament. They all knew that this was going to be a bit of a different feel because of that kaupapa Māori context. It's one thing to be aware of that, but it's another thing to lean in, dip your toes and, and get submerged as much as they have in, in a very short space of time, so it's been awesome to see them really take to a day. That's the difference, I think.